this problem, we are trying to evaluate the propagator for a simple harmonic oscillator which takes the form of a Gaussian path integral. The statement of the problem is as following. So let's say you have a harmonic potential half m omega square q square and you put a particle at q equal to 0 at time t equal to 0 what is the probability amplitude that if you return at a later time t, the particle would still be at position q equal to 0? To, to distinguish initial and final, let's use subscripts A and B. So given that at t i equal to 0, particle was at 0, probability amplitude that the particle will still be at 0 at later time t is given by the propagator, which is written as qb at 0, tb t, given that qa was 0 at t equal to 0. So we know that this is written as a path integral over all possible paths that the particle can take between these two initial and final values and we write the action which is integration of the Lagrangian as we already know from classical mechanics. And the limits of this path integral will of course be qa0 zero at 0 and it returns back to 0 at later time t. So in this video, we are trying to evaluate this integral. We know that for a simple harmonic oscillator, that Lagrangian q dot q is given as half m v square minus half m omega square q square. Because Lagrangian is t minus v. Okay, so our path integral looks like integral path integral over q, where I'm skipping q is a function of t. Please keep that in mind. That's always the case. So we write it down explicitly and this looks like q dot square minus omega square q square. We need to integrate this. We are going to use a known result here about path integrals, which is if we're integrating over some function q or some path q and the form of this path integral looks like this, then the result is this upon determinant of a to the power 1 by 2. And how do I know this? You can refer the book, Tom Lancaster and Stephen Blunden, QFT for the gifted amateur. It describes nicely how this results come about, but in this video, we are not going to look at this. All we're going to try is we want to express our Gaussian integral, which is equation one, in this known form. So we have to massage this equation a little bit. For that, what we can do is let's write the action separately, which we know this is, of course, integration dt Lagrangian q dot q. For a simple harmonic oscillator, this can be written as half m v square minus half m omega square q square. Let's look at this term for a while, okay? I'm just going to look at this and call it i, okay? And for timing, I'm going to skip this m by 2 factor also. So all I'm trying to do is I'm looking at this dt q dot square term. As you will agree with me, I can of course write this as as a product of q dots. Now I can use a smart trick. I can call this first function, second function and employ integration by parts and evaluate this. So this will be first function integral of second function from 0 to t minus differential of first function, integral of second function, whole integral. So this will look like q, 2 to q by dot t square, and there'll be a dt here. And the limits, you know, it's from 0 to capital T. Now the first term will go to 0. Why? Because I know that q at t is equal to q at 0, and they both are at origin 0. Okay, so so far what we have shown is that the first term here will anyways go to zero. So all that really matters is the second term. Okay. So I can write my pro, um, propagator in the form t q as function of t e to the power i by 2. And then my remaining terms, which is m minus 2 to dot t square minus omega square. And how about I write this as q times q and of course there is an integration here over dt. 
So what have you done? Are, are the results consistent? The first term is of course m by 2 q dot 2 dot t square q minus which looks correct to me and the second term is of course the potential term q square right so this is beginning to look like the known result which is e to the power i by 2 q a q but here we are using some c where this a is equal to minus i a c okay and, and c i'm going to define as some m mass minus omega square so my propagator simplifies to this expression now i need to evaluate this will be some b and then determinant of c i need to evaluate what determinant of c is for this i can use the fact that determinant is the product of its eigenvalues now how do i evaluate the eigenvalues well it's not so difficult so if you have a look if you write the eigenvalue equation the eigenfunctions are sin u and t with the eigenvalues m u n square minus omega square now given the conditions that q is 0 at t equal to 0 and q is still 0 at t equal to t this will give you that un should be n pi by t so if you put this all together you can see that g looks like that factor b and the product of all the eigenvalues which are m un square minus omega square and the power minus 1 by 2 still we have a problem we still don't know what this b is it, it has this form um, 2 pi i to the power 1 by 2 sort of form approximately and it will diverge as n tend to infinity so we want to get rid of this uh, factor b smartly such that this term does not diverge as n tend to infinity for this we are going to use known result from free particle so the free particle propagator as you can refer from other books for this problem is minus i m upon 2 pi t 1 by 2 okay now if so what is free particle essentially if you put omega is 0 in, in our problem this will go to free particle limit because there is no potential right so you can write this as b product 1 to infinity m n pi pi t whole square minus 1 by 2 so so this expression here a and b should be equal this will give you a value of b which is minus m upon 2 pi t divided by this product let's call it equation 2 if i haven't called anything equation 2 so we have a value of b now we need to plug in this equation 3 so plug 2 and 3 you get g is equal to the prefactor from free particle and then you have a product and then you you can divide it by okay so everything is correct here here my m is common this here yeah so we can simplify this a little bit let's leave the first part untouched it's doing us no harm we can divide the product part and write this as one term uh, one minus omega t upon n pi to the power minus one by two now we need to simplify this so we are going to use another thing which is called the Weierstrass factorization which is nothing but the convergence of such a product which has the form 1 minus x upon n pi square to the power minus 1 this will converge to x upon sin x 
Okay, so we have a term that looks similar. So in our case, Rg can be simplified as minus 1 minus im upon 2 pi t square root. And then we have omega t upon sin omega t power 1 by 2 again. Okay, final simplification. And this can be written as minus im omega upon 2 pi sin omega t to the power 1 by 2. And this is our final expression for propagator of simple Hamming oscillator given the initial conditions that it starts at the bottom, the minimum k equal to 0 at t0 and at later time you come back and the particle is still there and the probability amplitude is given by this expression.